Hello and welcome back to The Wee Larder. Today I'm going to be making a really traditional Scottish soup. It's called Kokaliki and it's so, so easy to make and it's really enjoyed by the whole family. Now there are so many recipes out there for kokaliki and some of the more modern ones add carrot and a few extra um, vegetables and you can add that to this recipe if you want to but what I've done is I've created this recipe based on um, the more traditional recipes that I could find and the oldest ones I could find as well. So the oldest recipes just had leek, um, onion and chicken and rice and some prunes in at the end. So I just wanted to try and create a real basic recipe that was um, more like the traditional ways of making kokaliki soup. So this is my version of a traditional kokaliki soup and I think I might do a second video for a second kokaliki um, soup with a few more extra ingredients in it as well because I think it would work so well with extra carrot and maybe some kale and maybe a wee soppy cream as well. <laughs> so. This is my kokaliki number one, and there might be a second one coming out in the future. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Let's get started. So for the kokaliki soup, you're going to need a small bundle of garden herbs. I just use some marjoram, some sage, some chives, and a little bit of thyme. Basically just whatever you've got growing in the garden, or you can use dried herbs if you don't have anything growing. The only thing I would recommend not using from the garden is mint because it's just a bit, little, little bit too overpowering. So you're also going to need a large pinch, pinch of sea salt and I like to use the flaked sea salt, so about one to two tablespoons worth. One whole fresh chicken and I like to use organic chicken for this recipe and four to six leeks. Now you want them to be quite large leeks, it's basically enough to fill the pot once they are chopped up. One chopped onion, three to four handfuls of white rice, six prunes and they are chopped up as well and they are optional. I personally didn't use them in this recipe because I'm not actually keen on prunes but I did use some honey right at the end of the roasting time on the chicken and this just added the sweet element back into the soup and I just found it really really worked and you also need some salt and pepper as well. So if you add in your small bundle of herbs into a huge pan of water now you want to fill it up as much as you can but bearing in mind you're going to have to fit a whole chicken in there so don't fill it up too much. Add in your salt to this water as well and add in the whole chicken. Now I have actually kept the string on this chicken because I just find it's really makes it easier to take the bird out once it's fully cooked. And just push it down for all the air to come out. Now you're going to want to bring this to quite a medium heat so get it on the boil and bring the heat back down and while you're doing that you want to chop and wash all of your leeks. I like to quarter my leeks lengthwise and then chop them up finely and then give them a really good wash under the water. Just be sure that you're quite thorough because dirt gets so like on all the nukes and crannies in these leeks so it's really important to give them a good wash. So your chicken should be cooking away nicely by now and what you need to do before adding the leeks is remove all the scum from the water that has arisen to the top of the surface. You don't want that in your soup. And you want to add in half of your chopped leeks now. Give them a good stir about and bring the heat back up to a simmer. and just let it simmer for about an hour, an hour and ten. Halfway through the cooking process, you're going to want to add in your onions. Just give them a good stir around. Add 
And just towards the end of the cooking process, you're going to add in the remainder of your leeks. And this just creates two different textures. So the leeks that have been cooking in the pan for the whole hour or so are really going to be quite mushy and they're, they create the base for the soup and the leeks that you add in near the end are going to give the soup a little bit more texture. Now remove the chicken onto a roasting tin and we're going to roast that and add in your three handfuls of rice. You can add in a little more or less, it depends on how thick you like your soup. I found three handfuls worked. Season your cooked chicken with a little salt and pepper and drizzle with some olive oil as well and pop it back into the oven to roast for about 15 minutes. Once that's complete, you're going to take it out and drizzle the honey on top of the chicken. And just make sure you get it all over the chicken. Switch off your oven and pop the chicken back into the oven just to keep it warm. Stir the soup through again and just let the rice cook. At this point you can add in your prunes as well if you're adding in your prunes. Your soup should be a really good consistency by now. And just a couple of minutes in the warm oven just creates a really nice um, sticky texture to the honey on the chicken. So you're going to want to chop your chicken up into small pieces. I include the skin because this is where all the honey is and this just gives the soup a really nice sweet element that I think replaces the prunes. So you need to put a handful, a good handful of chicken into the bowl and just ladle over the soup on top and season with salt and pepper and sprinkle a little parsley on top there as well. This is such a basic recipe but it's so enjoyable. As I said before, some um, variations of kokaliki or more modern recipes use carrot and you could also use some um, kale or spinach in there as well. And I think I'd probably make another recipe using those ingredients, but I really, really enjoyed the simple recipe as well. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed your bowl of warming kokaliki soup. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed this video, please click on the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and click the little bell next to it and you'll get notified when my next um, videos are out. So I've got loads of recipe ideas coming out um, very, very soon and I've also got some home and garden videos coming out as well. So take care and I'll see you guys again soon. Lots of love. Bye.